gentleman is Mr. Karim Kabir from Liberty Daily newspaper and has got two questions. The first one is, what is the nature of relations between the United States and the fusion center that was set up in the southern province of Tamil Nadu, in Algeria? And the second one is, your visit occurs uh, after the, the United States Supreme Court has uh, taken the decision of releasing two former Algerian former detainees in Guantanamo, one of whom has appeared uh, before the Algerian uh, courts, and has this issue been discussed with the, during the different meetings that you've had with Algerian officials or not? Uh, on the issue of the fusion center, um, uh, we have expressed our support uh, for this and for all measures that are building uh, regional cooperation, because we think that is essential for defeating uh, the terrorists. Uh, as I understand it, the work on the Fusion Center is still in early stages, and uh, I think uh, my interlocutors, uh, my Algerian counterparts, uh, know that we stand ready to help uh, in any way we can, and so we look forward to hearing from them about that project, which we, which we fully support. Um, on the issue of uh, Guantanamo uh, detainees, uh, as you know, uh, one individual uh, was uh, returned uh, to Algeria um, just a few days ago. Uh, in keeping with standard practice here in Algeria, he was uh, questioned and then uh, brought before the court, and I believe he's now been released. Uh, let me say unequivocally that the United States government uh, is very grateful to Algeria for helping us with the effort to close Guantanamo and for adhering to all of the uh, pledges and assurances about how individuals would be treated, what the process would be, and the judicial uh, method with which these uh, cases uh, are handled. It has been, uh, from our perspective, fully transparent uh, and completely predictable, and uh, we're quite pleased about that. So. Um, uh, I think that that is what we would call in the U.S. a good news story. Uh, the gentleman is from L'Expression Daily newspaper, and uh, his question is, um, why are you here? Have you been invited by the Algerian government, or were you sent by the Department of State? And you spoke earlier about assistance. Uh, what do you mean by assistance? And is the United States ready to send troops to Algeria? Um, to the best of my knowledge, I, I came because I was invited. Um, I, I believe that we both saw this, uh, that is, both of our countries saw this as being in our mutual interest. Um, if I uh, came uninvited, I apologize, but I, the hospitality has been excellent, so I, I assume that I was, in fact, invited. Um, uh, you asked the question um, regarding uh, assistance. Uh, first of all, there are, uh, there are no plans of any kind to put American soldiers um, in combat operations of any kind in Algeria. Uh, we feel the Algerian government has shown uh, you know, a superb ability to handle the terrorism problem, and our troops don't go where they're uh, not wanted. And uh, we understand very well that the, uh, um, the, the regional partners uh, recognize and embrace the fact that this is their challenge and they want to work on it. Um, when I said assistance, I was referring to some of the work that we do uh, in terms of um, providing uh, other countries around the world uh, with um, training courses um, that pass on what we believe to be uh, best practices uh, in terms of combating terrorism. As I understand it, there was a course uh, done here just a few days ago, uh, or maybe a week ago, on uh, document fraud, for example. Um, and we do a whole array of different kinds of, of training. Uh, in this regard, uh, we view this as an excellent way to um, uh, work with partners, uh, give them the benefit of whatever we have developed. Uh, and I should add that we are often um, receiving back uh, information that helps us uh, improve our capabilities as well. And um, uh, 
there is a range of uh, different kinds of uh, work going on in this field, but um, we are in no way involved in uh, any kind of military operation on Algerian uh, soil. Um, and uh, this is, you know, exactly the kind of thing that, uh, um, the kinds of exchanges that partners uh, engage in to uh, um, advance their capabilities. Um, the gentleman is from Algerian News newspaper, and he has two questions. First, um, uh, was part of the discussions that you've had with the Algerian officials, uh, did uh, any part of that concern the sale of weapons? And uh, the uh, second one is, uh, what about uh, human rights, uh, the human rights aspect in uh, counterterrorism? Was that also part of the discussions as well? And what is your statement about that? Uh, we did not have any uh, concrete discussions about weapon sales. Um, <clears throat> and as for the issue of human rights, uh, we did have discussions uh, about our shared view that uh, the rule of law is a critically important part of, uh, <clears throat> of the fight against uh, terrorism uh, and, our, and our agreement that um, treating uh, uh, suspected terrorists uh, in accordance with the rule of law and giving them trials with due process is in fact uh, a very effective way of demythologizing them, of reducing them, their stature, uh, from that of uh, supposed holy warriors to the ordinary uh, criminals that they are. Um, and, uh, and I would just add that was the focus of our, our conversations on human rights issues, and everyone that I spoke with uh, agreed with me completely. And I would just add that from uh, a US perspective, uh, we consider uh, that, uh, hum that there is, as the President has said, no trade-off uh, between security and human rights, but rather that human rights uh, and the observance of human rights is an essential part of a sound counterterrorism strategy um, and really uh, something that is required um, both as a matter of uh, effective policy but also as a matter of uh, being guided by, by your values, which uh, we view as being very uh, central to what, what we are about. Les discussions que nous avons eues avec...